So why is Roku going down? It's currently 108.51. Yeah, 108.51, that's pretty low. Let's go back five days. It's 118.06, back on the 8th, 18th of May. Um, let's go back year. Yeah, everyone had that dip right here in March. And then why are they going down? Let's let's see what the CFO of uh, Roku is saying about this. 39.8 million active accounts your company reported in the quarter. As you mentioned here, a jump in streaming hours as well to a total of 13.2 billion uh, streaming hours. All these numbers are incredible, but the question here is about the growth that you are looking at for your advertising business, which is what is really been the push here for Roku post physical device. I know you're still obviously selling players, but that growth rate has slowed a little bit. The advertising is the bread and butter here, right, Steve? Uh, are you confident those advertisers are going to be able to pay as much when they come back or that they will choose to come back to Roku over their peers? Well, we have a three-phase business model. So uh, the platform we need to drive uh, continued scale. And so active accounts in the short term have been surging with a new, new account signups up 70% year over year in April. Um, as we mentioned before, the engagement, which is the second phase of our business model, uh, streaming hours have, have increased rapidly to 80% year over year. And then monetization is, is the third phase of the business model. Um, we mentioned yesterday on the call that we expect advertising at Roku to grow substantially this year, albeit slightly lower uh, than what we uh, originally anticipated. So we do think that um, this, is, this is a great opportunity that in terms of advertisers re-looking at the mix allocations of their budget. There, there's probably a good analogy for the print advertising world in the 2000s. You know, prior to the financial crisis, print advertising and viewership was on, on the downhill slope um, a little bit. Um, but when the, the crisis hit, marketers uh, pulled back on their marketing spend. But when then they re-added it as things stabilized, you know, they disproportionately put that into the digital world. We think there's a high likelihood that, you know, the COVID-related changes that we're experiencing are accelerating these trends towards streaming and towards more targeted, uh, measurable advertising. And that should be a good thing long-term for Roku. Yes, I did speed that up. If you want to see the original interview, I'm going to put a link below. Roku needs ads, basically. Um, their only competition is Netflix, Amazon. Let's, kind of, let's see what it looks like with Netflix. Basically the same chart, but um, Roku makes these big jumps. They jump up. It went from 87, 81 to 128. Wow, how far is it going to go down? 97. That's that's the best buy. And they're comparing pretty much the same. But here goes that jump. Uh, I respect that jump. That jump is uh, crazy. I'm not too sure what's going on with, with Roku stock right now. It should at least hit 130 one more time. Well, that's it, guys. That's all I got. I'm going to keep you updated.